season high. Um, how that feels, you know, going into the ACC play? Oh, man, it felt really good. Uh, you just, I mean, just played within the system. Mm -hmm. Coaches had a great game plan, and I just followed it up to, to the T. And we moved the ball well. I mean, it was a great team win. I think we had, like, three other people in double digits. So, I mean, it wasn't just me. Uh, everybody else, you know, bought into the game plan, and we all got rewarded for it. Your team was able to score perfect 100% from free throw line. How does that feel, you know, going into ACC play? Man, it feels great. I mean, we were once – top 10 in the free throws and then we, we slipped up a little so our emphasis was more than great going into the next practice and going forward and to see us shoot 17 for 17 from the free throw line I mean it's a great confidence booster going into the ACC play. Coach has uh, mentioned a few times about just kind of struggling with containing the dribble you know allowing too much penetration but mm -hmm. he thought today it seemed like y'all were dialed in at least in the first half what uh, what do you think led towards maybe a better performance uh, containing some guys off the dribble? I mean, we knew this team was a fast team, uh, a guard-oriented team, so we really decided to put a lot of emphasis going into practice on just containing the dribble. And, I mean, we just all bought into it, which was also part of the game plan. And even when timeouts and, and halftime, we just reminded each other that this is what we need to do, this is what we need to do. And, and the team bought in, and like I said, we came out with the result we wanted. Will that be something that, and I guess you'll try to keep that mindset moving forward? Most definitely. I think how important is it um, from a playing perspective that this is your first a ACC season, um, you know, as far as playing it, and to see you and Balsa and Patrick and all of you guys win double figures, mm -hmm. just to get that kind of mojo going a little bit as you get ready to head into conference play, that, you know, yes, this is UNA, but, mm -hmm. you know, we can be scoring contributors as well as other right. assets we we bring that to. I mean, I definitely, I'm very happy for for Balsha, for uh, for Pat, and I mean, I think Sherman was in double digits as well. Definitely a confidence booster going into ACC play with these guys being young guys and new guys, and you know they're pretty anxious to play in the ACC just like the rest of us are. So to see them go out and do their thing, I know it was great for us as players and pretty much as a coaching staff. But I I know it was great for them to see the ball go in like that. So that is a vital. That's a vital part in our success. We're going to need them going into ACC play. And so I'm, I'm just happy for them. And that's just what's going to help our team perform well in ACC play. Coach talked about with as many first year players you all have that he kind of felt it was important to not rush y'all's development. Do you kind of feel that you, a lot of the other first year guys, are kind of in the right place as you're kind of going into this ACC yes. schedule? Yes, yes, definitely. I mean, Coach Ham, Coach Jones, Coach CY, Coach Smith, I mean, they're the best coaches I've had. They. They put us into positions to be successful. There's not any time that they will put us in a bad position to make any of us look bad. They all know our tendencies. They know what we can do well and what we don't do well. And that's what they're great at. And that's why, I mean, I love this program. They just want to see us succeed. And I mean, that's what they do. So even today and going forward, that's what, that's what they're going to do. They're going to put us in the best positions to be successful. What you have, you have a season, an opportunity to sit back and participate in practice. but also sit there on the bench and watch mm -hmm. the rotation of players and right. you know that you know one night it may be 12 minutes one night it may be 20 but right. you don't know what it's going to be you mm -hmm. just know you got to be ready right with so many new guys you know coming in I mean you're kind of the older new guy yeah. coming in, if you will um, how has this team meshed with that core group of, of new players in accepting and understanding the roles and, and being able to execute in those varying environments where sometimes, like I said, it's 10, 12 minutes, sometimes it's 20. Uh, wow. Uh, they meshed really well with us. I mean, even since the summer, they just bought into what we were about. We emphasized as returners and vets that this program is predicated on 18 strong. And so sometimes it will be your night and sometimes it won't be your night. Tonight, you know, it was a couple guys' nights, including mine, and sometimes it won't be. Sometimes it was somebody else will step up. But we're a brotherhood, and we just, like, off the court, we're, like, as close as can be. So we know. We keep each other motivated. We talk about these things and keep ourselves, our spirits high to let us know that, hey, I know that something didn't go well today, but you never know. Next game, we're going to need you, and you're going to hit a big shot, and you're going to win the game for us. So just them guys coming in and buying into that is what is going to make us successful in the future.